My entire life, my family's been in medical debt. I literally think about my health problems and my future and just the medical debt that my family's in every day. It, it never goes away. It's, it's not right. It's, it's just not. And I don't know who decided that being healthy was a privilege. I am 27. When I turned 26, I aged out of the state healthcare policy that I was on because of my father's work. And I have not been able to get any kind of insurance since then. I'm currently unemployed because of COVID. I worked in a restaurant. My boss, understanding of my situation, my whole family's high risk. My dad has asthma. My mom with her autoimmune disease is mine. My boss sent me home before we even had lockdown. But even when I was working, I didn't qualify for Medicaid or the um, ACA. And so I have been sitting on no insurance for almost two years now. And that's, that's a terrifying prospect in the middle of a global pandemic when you're a high risk individual. I have clinical depression. I am recovering from an eating disorder and I can't go to therapy. I also have to have reconstructive surgery on my nose and that cannot happen until I have some sort of medical coverage. And if I don't have this procedure done, I will lose my ability to breathe through my nose and to smell by the time I'm 40. If we had Medicaid expansion in this in this state, so many problems would be solved. And if we don't have leadership in place who's willing to talk about that, who's willing to advocate for it, it's gonna stay that way. And people are gonna keep dying. I just think it's important that people realize that. And I think it's important that we do all that we can to convince people to take the steps needed to make that change happen.